On many modern vehicles, they're equipped with electronic parking brakes. Now, there's often a functional test that needs to be done in order to change the brake pads. On this Ford behind me, there's actually two different procedures and they need to be used for two different repairs. So let's walk through each and where we would use them. All right, so these will be under the anti-lock brake system and it'll be under functional tests. Now, if we look down here, we see electronic integrated park brake maintenance mode and apply and release test. So those are two separate tests that would be used for two separate jobs on a vehicle. So we'll go into the integrated park brake maintenance mode first. So we see here it says before brake pads replacement and after brake pads replacement. So this needs to be done before we replace the brake pads and after. Uh, so first we'll do before. And it says this procedure puts the module into the service position for changing brake pads or calipers. The calipers will be retracted and locked in place so the pads can be replaced. Make sure the brake pedal is not pressed and parking brake is not engaged. Make sure the ignition is on as well. And we'll hit continue. And we can hear the electric motor pulling the caliper piston back, which would allow us to then do the repair. Now it says the test is complete, so we turn the ignition off and then do our repairs. After we're done, brake pads, calipers, what have you, we can go into after brake pads replacement, and it says replace the brake pads. Select continue only after pad replacement is complete because it's going to calibrate it to the new pads. Make sure the ignition is on again, we'll hit continue. And it says the ECU will begin adjusting the brake pads. Continue again. And we'll hear the electric motor close. And then we'll hear it adjust. Okay, all adjusted up. Test is complete. So that's for brake pads. Let's go back and check out this other one. So electronic integrated park brake apply and release test. So this is not to be done when you're doing the brake pad, uh, replacing the brake pads. This needs to be done when you're replacing the module for the electronic parking brake. So this procedure is also called the assembly test, which performs a calibration run on the initial touch point of the brake pads. It must be performed on a new module. Make sure the brake pedal is not pressed and cycle the ignition switch on. All that's good, so we'll hit continue. And we'll hear it cycle the motor, adjust in and out a few times. Only takes a few seconds. And now it's complete. So with that, just make sure that you're choosing the correct functional test for the correct operation that you're doing. So if I'm doing brake pads, I go into park brake maintenance mode. If I'm replacing the module, I need to go into the park brake apply and release test. We hope you found this clip helpful. Find hundreds of other quick tips and useful training videos right here on the Snap-on Diagnostics YouTube channel.